In this short video, we will show you how to optimize the print quality for virtually any media on the SureColor T-Series printer using the Paper Feed Adjustment tool. In this example, we're making a poster using the speed mode onto a 32-pound bond plain paper. The print looks pretty good overall, but when viewed close up, there are slightly visible horizontal lines. This is what is called banding. The reason that these bands appear is that the distance the paper moves forward after each pass of the print head is just a little too short. The printer's default paper settings work very well for Epson and most other brand papers. However, the variation in paper from different manufacturers such as thickness and weight and surface roughness can cause the paper to feed forward at slightly different rates. The good news is that it's very simple to optimize the print quality by adjusting the paper feed amount using a utility called Paper Feed Adjuster. Paper Feed Adjuster is part of the program called Epson LFP Remote Panel 2. When the Remote Panel 2 program first launches, we select our printer from the drop-down list. Next, we want to click on the Paper Feed Adjuster button. We'll get a message that's basically telling us not to print to the printer while we're making feed adjustments. Next, we need to specify what we're going to adjust. If you have multiple T-Series printers attached, choose the one that you're going to be adjusting. Then we choose the media type. This is the same media type chosen on the control panel when you load up the paper. If you're not using an Epson branded media, select the paper type that most closely matches the paper you're using. For this example, I'm using an uncoated plain paper. One thing to note is that if you're adjusting the CAD line drawing print mode, you'll want to choose a paper type that ends in line drawing. Then we choose the paper source. I'm using roll paper, so we'll leave this set to roll paper. And lastly, we want to choose the right print quality mode. The poster that I'm making, I'm printing in our speed mode at 360 by 720 DPI. Then we just want to click the details button. We now get a window where we're going to make the paper feed adjustment. Click on the print button and in the page setup windows, simply leave the default values and press OK. We'll get a message summarizing what we are going to print. Just click OK and begin the print. What is going to happen here is that the utility will print a test pattern with five different media feed values within the media feed adjustment range. The default range is from minus one quarter of a percent to plus one quarter of a percent. As we look at the five different patterns starting with a minus 25, we see a noticeable dark band. The dark band begins to fade away at a value of zero, looks pretty good around 13, and we start seeing a white band at 25. So based on what we just saw, the ideal paper feed advance value is somewhere between 0 and plus 25. Let's narrow the range to be between 0 and 25 and run this test pattern again. Now the printer will reprint the same test patterns using paper feed adjustment values of 0, 6, 12, 19, and 25. Looking closely at the pattern, the ideal paper feed value looks like it will be somewhere in the middle between 12 and 19. Averaging the two numbers gets us about 15 and a half, so we'll use 15. In the paper feed adjustment details window, we're going to enter our new feed value of 15 and click save. Click OK to confirm to update the printer's paper feed adjustment values. It may take a second or so until the tool communicates with the printer. Once complete, you'll get a message that everything's been saved. Click OK to continue and then close the utility. Now, with the printer set up for the specific paper, let's print the poster again to see the improvements. Looking close up at the print, we can see that we have reduced the banding so that it's no longer noticeable, even up close, while still keeping the printer operating at full speed. Call LexJet, your Epson printer specialist, at 800-453-9538 to learn more.